Let's take a look at the oxidation numbers just for zinc here. So we're looking at Zn on the periodic table. So first off, if you have just Zn, we're talking about zinc metal here. It's just Zn. There's no negative or positive after it, so it's a neutral element. We call this a free element. Free elements, they have an oxidation number of zero. So if you have a chemical equation with just Zn plus some other compound, its oxidation state, that's going to be zero. Same for sodium, iron, H2O2, S8. They're all just the same element, so the oxidation state will be zero. But zinc can bond to other elements, and it can have different oxidation states when it forms those chemical bonds. Let's take a look at two of those. So if we have something like zinc chloride, ZnCl2, this Cl here, chlorine's group 17, it'll be minus 1. We have two of them. The oxidation state on the zinc will be plus 2. So here zinc has an oxidation state of plus 2. But we can also make Zn2Cl2. It's not as common, but this compound does exist. Here again, chlorine has going to be minus 1. Each zinc here, for this to all add up to 0, has to be plus 1. So we have 2 times plus 1, that's plus 2. And 2 times minus 1, that's minus 2. That adds up to 0. So although zinc normally has a plus 2 oxidation state, it can also be plus 1. Note that oxidation state, that is different than ionic charge, although there is overlap. If we look at ionic charge for zinc, we see that when zinc forms ions, it'll be 2 plus. It always forms these 2 plus ions. So that does overlap with oxidation state. But when it combines with other elements like Zn2Cl2 we saw, it can have oxidation states different than the plus 2. This is Dr. B with the oxidation states for Zn. Thanks for watching.